Friday night in downtown Indianapolis, Indiana. Where would you rather be than right here for the Big Ten Men's Basketball Tournament? In this season, unlike anything we've ever seen, one thing never changes. March is still March. It's still buzzer beaters and wild finishes. It's still memorable moments and everlasting images. This is drama. This is theater. This is suspense. This is heartbreak. This is jubilation. It is intense. It's still the best of the best and as good as it gets. It's still March. Now let the madness commence. The Big Ten Men's Basketball Tournament on the Big Ten Network is presented by SoFi. And tonight, we start the evening session at Lucas Oil Stadium with the second-seeded Illinois Fighting Illini and the seventh-seeded Rutgers Scarlet Knights. One semifinal is set, and it's Michigan-Ohio State. Not bad. How about the second semifinal? We're about to find out as Rutgers and Illinois hit the court to start the evening session in Indy. Hi again, everybody. Alongside Stephen Bardo, I'm Kevin Kugler. We are excited for this one tonight. We saw what Rutgers could do. They got the win over Indiana yesterday to get here, but this is the first time we've seen the Fighting Illini on the floor. Stephen, one of the best basketball teams, not only in this conference, but all across college basketball. Yeah, it's going to be interesting because Illinois is playing like one of the best teams in the country, and they have their fan base here. So it's going to be a little bit of juice in the building tonight. So it will really be interesting to see how it affects Io DeSumo. Their best player, one of the best guards in college basketball. The thing that makes him so difficult, Kevin, that improved three-point shot has opened up everything in his game. So now you have to close out on the perimeter, but he can get to you, get to the rim with that size and athleticism. Well, Rutgers is going to come into this, Stephen, with confidence. I know it was December 20th, but they beat this Illinois team behind a terrific performance from Jacob Young, who had 24, and Ron Harper Jr., who had 28 in that one. He looked very good last night against Indiana. He did with a double-double, and Jacob Young, is one of the quickest guards in the Big Ten. Very difficult to contain. Ron Harper Jr. had a double-double last night, his fourth of the season. When he has a double-double, Rutgers is undefeated. So very difficult to defend. Big, strong guard, and he can expand the floor with his three-point shooting ability. We are poised for a fun one tonight to meet the rest of the participants. It's time to welcome in our public address announcer, Gene Honda. Good evening and welcome to Game 9 of the 2021 Big Ten Men's Basketball Tournament. Tonight's game features the Rutgers Scarlet Knights and the Illinois Fighting Illini. It's now time for tonight's starting lineups brought to you by SoFi. Let's meet the starting lineups for the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. At center, a 6'11 junior from Long Beach, California, number 15. Miles Johnson. That guard, a 6'6 sophomore from Bayonne, New Jersey, number four, Paul Mulcahy. That guard, a 6'6 junior from Franklin Lakes, New Jersey, number 24, Ron Harper, Jr. At guard, a 6'4 senior from Derry, New Hampshire, number zero, Geo Baker. And at guard, a 6'2 senior from Houston, Texas, number 42, Jacob Young. The head coach for the Rutgers Scarlet Knights is Steve Peichel. And now the starting lineups for the Illinois Fighting Illini. At four, a 6'6 junior from Oakland, California, number three, Jacob Grandison. At center, a seven-foot sophomore from Kingston, Jamaica, number 21, Kofi Coburn. At guard, a 6'3 freshman from Peoria, Illinois, number 44, Adam Miller.
at guard, a 6'5 junior from Chicago, Illinois, number 11, Ayo Desumu. And at guard, a 6'2 senior from Wellington, Florida, number one, Trent Frazier. The head coach for the Illinois Fighting Illini is Brad Underwood. It's going to feel like a home game for Illinois in this building. A lot of Fighting Illini fans making the drive to Indianapolis to see their team look inside tonight. Miles Johnson and Kofi Coburn. That is a very, very interesting post matchup. Time to welcome in the third member of our crew, and we say hello once again to Andy Katz. Well, appreciate it, Kevin and Steven. And you'll see how to see sporting that black face mask. He debuted it against Ohio State last week. And Brad Underwood, the head coach, telling me he's been wearing it everywhere. Weightlifting, eating, in his room. His son's a roommate back in Champaign. He doesn't know. Maybe he's sleeping in it, but he wanted to make sure that he got used to that black mask. Brad says, you know, he kind of looks like a superhero. When I asked Steve Peichel about Io playing in the mask, he said, hey, mask, no mask. He's still a great player kind of looks like a superhero he's batman obviously <laughs> well when you are one of the best teams in the country and your fans have not had the chance to see you in person until today you can bet they're going to make the under two hour drive from champagne to indianapolis to see this team play and you'll hear it tonight illinois fans are here and they are loud and ready to yell for their team. See how that impacts this game tonight because nobody's played in front of a crowd on this floor like this tonight. Rutgers got a taste with Indiana last night. This one feels a little different even than that crowd did. No, I totally agree. And we'll have to see the advantage that Rutgers may have from playing the first game. We'll see how long it takes Illinois to get going. 